Yo, hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. Make your Google Assistant even smarter in 2023 by connecting it to ChatGPT. This in-depth tutorial will guide you through the integration process allowing your AI assistant to provide more insightful and engaging interactions. So guys, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So, the first thing guys that we need to do is to head up to ChatGPT so I can show you something real quick. Here it is ChatGPT itself. Now in ChatGPT, there is so many things that can be um, very easy to notice. The first thing is there is no button in here that can help us connect or integrate ChatGPT to any app in the world. So in that case, how can we connect two different apps where there is no integ integration button or option in both? Well, that's why there is another third party app that can help us to do so. Well, before that, let's go to Google Assistant. And as you can see, it will be usually in your mobile. And basically, Google Assistant is already, guys, an AI. So when you try to connect Google Assistant with ChatGPT, you're just trying to make your AI, which is Google Assistant, much more smarter than uh, even usual. So it can make conversations with ChatGPT as an example. It can give you better solutions by asking ChatGPT instead of looking inside of the web, web uh, itself. So... Yeah, it can be much cooler for you. Now, how can we connect these two apps? That is what I'm going to show you real quick. So first of all, guys, make sure to head up to your browser and click on zapier.com. This is the website that we are going to mainly use for this video. Now, the Zapier will allow us to make automation, which will be integrating, for example, ChatGPT with Zapier, and then integrating Google Assistant with Zapier, and then Zapier will be like, um, intermediate between both of them so guys as you can see right in front of us here we can see the apps and this app section basically will find uh, all the apps that you own in our video we need chat GPT so let's search for it and here you can click on connect to make it connecting to your chat GPT account so this is the API key to get this key, again guys, you can't get it from ChatGPT itself. You have to go to OpenAI. So basically, go to OpenAI.com and then log in. Here you will find two options, either to go to ChatGPT or API, which integrates OpenAI models into your application or business. So here, click on the top right corner, click on View API Keys, and simply here, click on create new secrets key. Then name it, for example, Google Assistant, create it, get it, copy it, and paste it here. Name it this one as well, Google Assistant. Then click on yes, to continue, and it shall be uh, connected. I'm not going to do that because I have already ChatGPT connected into my account. The next thing is to go to Google Assistant, or you can just go for one of Google uh, uh, apps that you find here. So there is much more than that. So there's all of these apps that you can go for. Let me just write here. Here it is. So here is Google Docs, Google Contact, Google Ads, Google Business. So there is a bunch of options. Just by connecting to one of them, it will be connected directly to your Google Assistant. But basically the one that we are going to use is Google Chat for today's video. So click on it and basically let me just go back here into the apps and I'm going to grab Google Chat, connect and the same thing, choose your account and just like that we have connected to Google Chat. Now the thing that we need to make sure of is our connection has been done successfully. So by clicking here, testing connection, that means that our connection has been done successfully. Let's try this out with ChatGPT. And I will show you an example of what will appear to you when it is not connected. So basically here, it should be connected successfully and tested successfully. 
but for this one it should not be connected successfully so testing it is not working so here error system connection so it's in case you had this problem well you have to re work on it so you have to redo these steps so you can make everything work fantastically smooth for you now after you finish with that you get here to the left side bar menu click on create a zap and right after that you will find this text box in here simply what you need to do is write a prompt a prompt is basically a text that describes what you want them to do for example I want when I ask my Google assistant for anything it should take my curve my words to chat GPT and gives me the answer uh, that chat GPT gave to it and then click on generate and let the AI do a job so now the AI will try to understand what we are looking for and it will give us the best for impossible so here Google assistant to chat GPT conversations and response that's why we are going to try it out so simply here what you need to do guys is to connect to all of these applications for example chat GPT choose and log into your account after that it will be good to go and do the actions do everything so everything should be very in straightforward thing for example chats so something like that or anything and then you can click here to continue and finish with it and by the end when we finish connecting all these apps all you need to do next is to click on this off button make it on and fix to publish if there is any problem make sure to fix them and then publish it so it can start working now as a side note or a side information that you need to do or to put in mind before you create any zap in zapier look at the bottom of your page and you will find the free plan or the name of your plan in case you were just new to zapier and you just created your account you will be normally on the free plan which will be up to only five zaps at once so in case you had an account already and you couldn't create any zaps make sure to turn off the old zaps that you are not using so you can free up some space for the new zaps that you will be creating in the future also if you had the maximum amount of tasks arrived to it for example for me i have 100 if you have 100 or 100 then you can't really get more tasks to be done unless you pay for a premium plan so these two things you have to put in mind and uh, for the task and zap uh, for the task themselves they get reload each month so each month you will have a hundred free tasks uh, to use when you're done with them you have to wait another month so you can get them refreshed and yeah guys that was it for today's video thank you a lot for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial